Former President Bill Clinton often gets the credit or the blame, depending on your point of view, for the North American Free Trade Agreement. He doesn't get enough negative credit for what he did with NAFTA. NAFTA is a disaster. But the story of NAFTA is a little more complicated than that. The idea actually comes from this guy. In 1979, as he announced his candidacy, Reagan proposed a North American Accord. A North American Accord would permit achievement of that potential in each country beyond that which I believe any of us, strong as we are, could accomplish in the presence or the absence, I should say, of such cooperation. Fast forward to 1992, and this is what I always think about. Ross Perot, during the presidential debates between him and Bill Clinton and then President George H.W. Bush, saying this. There will be a giant sucking sound going south. So we, if, if the people send me to Washington, the first thing I'll do is study that 2,000-page agreement and make sure it's a two-way street. Clinton, of course, winds up winning that election. But before Bush leaves office, he signs the NAFTA agreements. The leaders of Canada and Mexico do the same. That doesn't make it law. It's pretty much those countries just saying, yep, we like the terms of this deal. That signed agreement was then ratified by each country and became law on December 8th, 1993, when Bill Clinton signed it. NAFTA will tear down trade barriers between our three nations. It will create the world's largest trade zone and create 200,000 jobs in this country by 1995 alone. And it did. Trade today between the three countries exceeds $1.1 trillion. But people did lose jobs. Some of them went to the southern part of the United States. Others went to Mexico, two places where labor is generally cheaper. That left a lot of people in the middle of this country, manufacturing's traditional base high and dry. Which is why when he was campaigning back in 2008, then Senator Barack Obama said he would talk to Mexico and Canada about amending NAFTA. I would immediately uh, call the, the president of Mexico, the president of Canada, to try to amend NAFTA, it should reflect the basic principle that our trade agreements should not just be good for Wall Street, it should also be good for Main Street. Under the Trump administration, the future of NAFTA is at best up in the air. We're going to start some negotiations having to do with NAFTA. Anybody ever hear of NAFTA? So there you have it, a brief history of NAFTA. <laughs>